smells like some fresh thoughts. Holy shit, what an episode. I don't even know where to begin. Sherlock on designer drugs, John seeing his dead wife, serial killer philanthropist, and wow, what a freaking ending that was. <laughs> so this is turning out to be one hell of a season of Sherlock. I was really hoping that the mediocre episode from last week was gonna put some storyline credit in the bank, and freaking jackpot did it ever. So let's break the episode down. It starts off with Culverton Smith. A really rich guy played by Toby Jones who drugs up a bunch of people in order to confess his sins or his soon-to-be sins of his psychopathic nature. Kind of the weirdest way of confession, but hey, psychopaths are psychopaths. So then Sherlock gets visited by this rich guy who's played by Toby Jones' daughter who is supposedly at the night of the drugging confession. She has a half-written note from her half-memories of what happened that night, and then Sherlock goes off the charts. He goes on this drug rampage in this conspiracy theory fueled. I mean, it was absolutely insane. I mean, his house looked like, I mean, it had wires running from one thing to the other and to the prints out of... Uh, Culverton Smith everywhere on the walls. I mean, it was pretty intense. Whoever did the set designing for that, I mean, it was spot on. It looked like you were in a conspiracy theorist's mind, especially one as intelligent as Sherlock. It was intense. So Sherlock finds himself at John Watson's new therapist office in a series of events that only Sherlock can choreograph, plan out, and execute. So a bunch of other things happen and John and Sherlock find themselves at Culverton Smith's hospital that he sort of owns. And in a drug-induced rampage of deduction, Sherlock Holmes accuses Culverton of psychological murder and of serial killing and a bunch of whatnot. And I guess it looks like he's wrong. So he also freaks out over Culverton's daughter because it's not the same woman who visited him that night later on that. Now Sherlock freaks out as he's already still freaking out in a lot and a lot of drugs, tries to stab Culverton with a uh, scalpel and John proceeds to beat the crap out of him. I'm not sure if it was an emotional rampage about his wife or just what was happening at the time, but John beats the piss out of Sherlock, which is a good thing because Sherlock is about to OD and is in need of medical attention and lo and behold they're in a hospital. So Sherlock is now staying at Smith's hospital and Smith is still a serial killer even though Sherlock thought he was proven wrong. So Sherlock is now in the care of Culverton's hospital and lo and behold Sherlock was right. Culverton is a super serial killer and proceeds to sneak into Sherlock's room and attempt to murder him. So all the while this is happening John finds the DVD that Mary gave Sherlock and proceeds to save Sherlock's life by running or driving to the hospital and finding Culverton and there's a little scuffle and then they find out that Sherlock has hidden a fourth microphone in the cane that John left him as a reminder of John and Sherlock's friendship and uh, again only something that Sherlock Holmes could plan out and execute properly. So that's the end of the main episode, but that's not even the real thing that happened. So after this, the real stuff hits the fan. I mean, really, the real shit happens. So here's what we find out in the last 10 minutes of the episode. Sherlock has a sister, an evil sister. She's the one who pretended to be the daughter of Culverton and gave the note to Sherlock. She is also John's therapist. She's also the girl that John has now been texting who he met on the bus with the daisy in the hair from the last episode. And we assume that she shoots John right in the face right at the end of the episode. Oh, and the return of Irene Adler. God, what a season this is turning out to be. 
I really wish it was longer. <laughs> okay, here are my thoughts. Phenomenal episode. Great storyline, great character development, continuation of the story arc, phenomenal twists, and the cinematography was on point. I mean, this deserves an award. So like the way they did like Sherlock's slow motion teacup ninja grab, and the way they added memories into the whole episode in these quick frames. And as always, the great envisioning of Sherlock's deduction skills. I mean, the parts where they were in the middle of the street and we were showing, they were showing off how he knew about the piece of paper with the window slide and ah, perfect, perfect, award-winning stuff here. This is overall probably one of the best episodes of anything I've seen in the last 12 months, easy. Okay, so here's some theories I have so far. So, Sherlock's sister is the real Moriarty. Now I get it. There, there was an old Moriarty who was Moriarty, but then he's dead because, you remember, he got shot in the face. And I think Sherlock's sister picked up all the pieces and reassembled Moriarty's evil empire of doom. Or was Moriarty really even Moriarty? What if he was being manipulated by Sherlock's sister the whole time? I mean, these sort of twists are not uncommon with a Stephen Moffat production, so I, I could theorize on that. You know, what if all this information about Sherlock hit Moriarty? What if they just didn't stumble upon each other? What if Sherlock's sister was the one who was actually feeding Moriarty information about him? It's a theory. I'd like to hear about it. Comment below if you want to talk about it. Ooh. What if there is a revenge plot going on? So, so hear me out. You have Sherlock's sister and Mycroft. Mycroft seems to know about her quite a bit as there has been some hints in the past two episodes about her existence. Now hear me out. They called her the East Wind and Mycroft used to scare the crap out of Sherlock by saying the East Wind would come and take him away. Now, Sherlock also had a dog, I believe his name is Redbeard, that the East Wind took away. What if that was Sherlock's sister who killed the dog? I can only speculate on that. Now, as far as the revenge plot, what if Mycroft, in his awesome intelligence, locked away Sherlock's sister and now, in order to seek revenge upon Mycroft, she is trying to destroy Sherlock, as Sherlock and Mycroft used to be really close, or still are pretty close. What better way to destroy Mycroft than to destroy Sherlock, who he's always protecting and always looking out for? Uh, another theory that I'd like to talk about, because I think that's a real possibility. I'm not really sure what's going on in Stephen Moffat's head, but this thing is not out of question. Ooh, here's a question. Now, why didn't his parents mention the sister on the last episode of the third season? What's up with that? Could this really be like a super secret sister? Is it a half-sister? Maybe Sherlock's mom had a little something-something on the side? Or what? Man, this, this, it's deep, very deep. So many questions about this. I can't, you know, I'm gonna rewatch the episode a couple more times. So I'd love to talk about it in the comments below. Please, let me hear your theories on this. It, it begs, it absolutely begs to be discussed. Uh, you know, see me on Twitter because we can probably have something a little bit more of a dynamic on that for the discussion. So thanks for watching, guys. Those were my thoughts on Sherlock Holmes Season 4, Episode 2. It is a great episode, so if you haven't seen it and you don't mind the fact that I just probably just spoiled it for you through this whole episode of Fresh Thought, I really recommend going to see it. You have to see episode one of season four to really get it. So watch that first if you haven't. So let's talk about it in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on it. Thanks for watching Classically Trained Nerds, guys. If you have any ideas for fresh thoughts in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe the video. It does help the channel out greatly. And follow me on Twitter. I'll post the handle below. If you want any more nerd news updates or if you just want to chat. Thanks guys and hope you have a good morning, evening or afternoon.